Introduction Today, we will learn linear inequality. Can anyone tell me what is inequality? Inequality involves less than or more than sign. Very good. Teacher, then what is linear inequality? Linear inequalities are the statements which involves inequality sign. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve linear inequalities problems. Objective At the end of this lesson, you will be able to State the linear inequality Find the inequalities Find the solution of linear inequalities in one variable Find the solution of linear inequalities in two variables Represent the linear inequalities graphically Inequalities Linear inequalities are the statement that involve the sign of inequality. These are less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, not equal. Let's have some examples for better understanding. Example 1. To enter a junior writing competition, you must be under 12 years old. So, the inequality for the statement is, age is less than 12. Under 12 means less than 12 and does not include equal to 12. Therefore, the correct symbols is less than. It is a linear inequality of one variable. Example 2. Suresh went to market to buy hanky and socks with rupees 200. The cost of one hanky is rupees 25. The cost of one pair of socks is rupees 30. If x denotes the number of hanky and y denotes the number of socks pairs which Suresh buy, then we can represent the above statement in inequality form as 25x plus 30y less than or equal to 200. It is a linear inequality of two variables. It can be written in two statements. 25x plus 30y is equal to 200. 25x plus 30y less than 200. Name it as A. Statement A is an equality in this case. Example. The length of a rectangle is greater than 5 cm and its width is greater than 4 cm. Write the inequality for the area of the rectangle. Solution. The area of a rectangle is found by multiplying the length by the width. If the length was equal to 5 cm and the width was equal to 4 cm, then the area would be 5 cm into 4 cm is equal to 20 cm square. But the length is greater than 5 cm and the width is greater than 4 cm, so the area is greater than 20 cm square. Algebraic solution of linear inequalities in one variable and their graphical representation. The solution of an inequality of one variable is the value of the variable which makes it a true statement. Rules to solve a linear inequality in one variable. Number 1. Equal numbers may be added to or subtracted from both sides of an inequality without affecting the sign of inequality. Number 2. Both sides of an inequality can be multiplied or divided by the same positive number. But when both sides are multiplied or divided by a negative number, then the sign of inequality is reversed. Number 3. Any term on any side of inequality can be transferred to the other side with its sign changed without affecting the sign of inequality. Example. Solve. 4x minus 19 less than 15x plus 14. Show the graph of the solution on the number line. Solution. Transposing 15x to LHS and 19 to RHS. We have 4x minus 15x is less than 14 plus 19 or minus 11x is less than 33. Minus x is less than 3. x is greater than minus 3. This inequality is shown on a number line. First, we draw an open circle because x is not equal to minus 3 and an arrow to the right because we want values greater than 4. Number line.
Example Ram needs a minimum of 360 marks in four tests in a mathematics course to obtain A grade. On his first three tests, he scored 88, 96, 79 marks. What should his score be in the fourth test so that he can make A grade? Solution Let Ram scores X marks in the fourth test. Then the sum of the Ram's test scores should be greater than or equal to 360. That is, 88 plus 96 plus 79 plus X greater than or equal to 360. It implies 263 plus X greater than or equal to 360. It implies X greater than or equal 97. Ram should score 97 or greater than 97 in the fourth test to obtain A grade. Graphical solution of linear inequalities in two variables. Let ax plus by plus c star 0 be a linear inequality in variables x and y, where a, b and c are arbitrary real numbers and star is the inequality sign. The linear equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 plot is a straight line in xy plane. Below are the examples of straight line in xy plane which divides xy plane into two half. The graph of linear inequality is a half plane, which is determined by the linear equation. The straight line divides the xy plane in two parts, that is, half planes, and exactly one of these would be the graph of the inequality. To decide as to which of the half plane is the solution of linear inequality, we take an arbitrary point pH, k. There are two cases. Case 1. P satisfies linear inequality. If the point P H, K satisfies the linear inequality, then the required graph of the given inequality is that half plane which contains the point P H, K. Case 2. P does not satisfy linear inequality. If the point P H, K does not satisfy the linear inequality, then the required graph of the given inequality is that half plane which does not contain the point P H, K. The set of points on the half plane represented by linear inequality is called the solution set of the given inequality. If the inequality involves sign less than or equal or greater than or equal, then the points satisfying the straight line AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0 are also included in the solution set of inequality and on the other hand, if inequality involve sign less than or greater than, then the points satisfying the straight line AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0 are not included in the solution set of inequality. Note, graph of AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0 is a dashed line if equality is not included in the original statement or as a solid line if inequality is included. Example, draw the graph of x plus 2y less than or equal to 10. Solution, the given inequality is x plus 2y less than or equal to 10. The corresponding linear equation is x plus 2y is equal to 10. Name it as 1. Now, we shall draw the line 1. When x is equal to 0, line 1 implies 0 plus 2y is equal to 10. y is equal to 5. So, we plot the number 0, comma 5. When y is equal to 0, line 1 implies x plus 2 into 0 is equal to 10. x is equal to 10. So, we plot the point 10, comma 0. The line joining 0, comma 5 and 10, comma 0 divide the xy plane in two half planes. Now, we select a point say 0, comma 0 which is one of the half planes and determine if this point satisfies the given inequality. 0 plus 2 into 0 less than or equal to 10, which is true. Hence, half plane 1 is the solution region of the given inequality. Example Solve the following system of linear inequalities graphically and find the corner points. 2x plus y is less than or equal to 22. x plus y is less than or equal to 13. 2x plus 5y is less than or equal to 50. 
x is greater than or equal to 0. y is greater than or equal to 0. Solution. The inequalities x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 called non-negative restrictions. The solution region lies in the first quadrant and we can restrict our attention to that portion of the plane. First, we graph the lines as follows. 2x plus y is equal to 22. At x is equal to 0, y is equal to 22. So, the point is 0, 0,22. At y is equal to 0, x is equal to 11. So, that point is 11, 0. x plus y is equal to 13. And x is equal to 0, y is equal to 13. So, the point is 0, 13. At y is equal to 0, x is equal to 13. So, the point is 13, 0. 2x plus 5y is equal to 50. At x is equal to 0, y is equal to 10. So, the point is 0, 10. At y is equal to 0, x is equal to 25. So, the point is 25, 0. Next, choosing 0, 0 as a test point, we see that the graph of each of the first three inequalities in this system consists of its corresponding line and the half plane line below the line as indicated by the arrows. Thus, the solution region of the system consists of the points in the first quadrant that simultaneously lie on or below all three of these lines. Let's find out corner points. The corner points can be extracted from the figure as 0, 0, 0, 10, 11, 0 and the other two points can be determined by solving the equations 2x plus 5y is equal to 50, x plus y is equal to 13. By solving the equations we get 5, 8, 2x plus y is equal to 22, x plus y is equal to 13. By solving the equations, we get 9,4. So, the corner points are 0, 0, 0, 10, 11, 0, 5, 8, 9,4. Note that the lines 2x plus 5y is equal to 50 and 2x plus y is equal to 22 also intersect. But the intersection point is not part of the solution region and hence is not a corner point. Did you know? William Henry Young was an English mathematician has important contribution in inequalities. The inequality signs were first used by the English mathematician Thomas Herriot. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Linear inequalities are the statement that involve the sign of inequality. These are less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal, not equal. Rules to solve a linear inequality in one variable. A. Equal numbers may be added to or subtracted from both sides of an inequality without affecting the sign of inequality. B. Both sides of an inequality can be multiplied or divided by the same positive number. But when both sides are multiplied or divided by a negative number, then the sign of inequality is reversed. C. Any term on any side of inequality can be transferred to the other side with its sign changed without affecting the sign of inequality. Graphical solution of linear inequalities in two variables. If the inequality involve sign less than or equal or greater than or equal, then the points satisfying the straight line AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero are also included in the solution set of inequality. And on the other hand, if inequality involve sign less than or greater than, then the points satisfying the straight line AX plus by plus c is equal to 0 are not included in the solution set of inequality. Graph of inequality is a dashed line if equality is not included in the original statement or as a solid line if equality is included.